So today we're going to look at changing the V-belt on the uh, Volvo Penta 2000 Series 2 cylinder. And um, the reason I'm changing it is the belt that came with this boat when I bought it a few years ago, I have no idea what the record is. It may be fresh, it may be old, I don't know. So just to um, keep from having some issues out someplace where I don't want to have a problem, I'm going to put a new uh, V-belt on. In fact, I already have put it on. Well, won't look at the mechanics because the mechanics is actually pretty simple. Just a matter of loosening this half inch bolt and this five inch inch bolt. The alternator then rotates down, the belt easily slips off. Put the new belt on. The, um, the thing you want to look for in getting your belt is whether or not you have a freshwater cooled engine or a raw water cooled engine. There are two different lengths of belts. And the way you can tell if you have a freshwater cooled engine, and by the way that's the same thing as having antifreeze, is this water pump will be the third pulley in the uh, assembly. And also you'll find a reservoir for uh, antifreeze or your fresh water uh, up on the top, on the starboard side of the engine. So the if you have a freshwater cooled engine like this one, the uh, part number is Volvo 9669-06. If you have a raw water cooled engine where you're just pulling water out of whatever you're operating in, running it through the engine and, and blowing it out the exhaust, then this pulley won't be here. You'll have a shorter belt that just runs off of the crankshaft and the alternator. That part number is 966900. And I'll put both those part numbers in the video description so you don't have to write those down right now. So the real, only real issue with this is how do you get the belt tight? And one of the, um, cha well, two challenges. You have these uh, metal tubes that handle cooling water that are very close into the alternator and secondly you have a wire that goes to the sensor I believe that's the temperature sensor uh, for the engine and so the challenge is how do you get this lever arm in here someplace where you don't damage these pipes you don't damage this wire and you don't affect uh, don't you're not stretching your um, your belt where you can get it uh, tension properly and by the way, Volvo recommends using a wooden a lever arm, not using a screwdriver. They seem to think that a screwdriver placed in here and, and putting a lot of tension on the alternator can cause some damage. So what I found is an old hammer handle that's a very um, solid piece of wood. And I found a place right here. That's about the only place you can put it. Stick it in there. Pull on that really hard, get the uh, tension on the belt, and then you can put a half inch uh, socket on that one and tighten it up. And once this half inch is tight enough to hold the belt, then you can tighten up to 5 eighths and um, have it solid. The way you determine the, um, the tension on the belt is take a look at the deflection. Uh, Volvo specifies a deflection of no more than five millimeters or one quarter of an inch when you push in this location right here. And that'll tell you if the uh, belt is um, properly tightened. If you can't get a five millimeter deflection, then the belt's too tight and you risk harming the bearings on the armature to the alternator. If the belt is too loose, you're not going to run your alternator um, properly, especially under high load. So another way that uh, some people have determined belt tension is to see if you can twist a belt half a turn, 90 degrees. And I think the, the length between these two pulleys is too small to use that qualitative assessment. So the only real way to do it is to take a look at a either quarter inch or a five millimeter deflection in the, uh, the belt at that point. Another thing you can do is to see if the belt is tight enough is once the engine's running put a, um, a voltage meter on your battery and see if you've got 14.2 volts and that will tell you whether or not your alternator is turning properly in order to recharge your battery so that's the new belt um, on this particular Volvo Penta 2002